I'm pretty sure that wasn't supposed to happen. Come on, Plankton. We gotta clean this up before Bubbles gets back. <laughs> Welcome to our little tale of woe, triumph against impossible odds, terror, and managerly responsibility. Our story begins in the calm waters above the town of Bikini Bottom. As we descend beneath the waves, we find another day. Wait a minute! Hold your seahorses! I can't believe this is happening here! It's horrible! Whew. Thank Neptune, my manager is here! Talk to me, Krabs. It started out as a simple order. A Krabby Patty with cheese. So what went wrong? When the customer took a bite... No cheese! Ah, this has never happened before! Get a hold of yourself, Eugene. I'm going in. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Vacuuming up manliness, even in the corner. If you need help, collect a Krabby Patty or two. Short slide from manager to, well, not manager. A manager is always prepared. See what extra you have just earned, go to the extra section on the options menu. A manager is always prepared. You 
may be able to break through some weak objects in the world. Vacuuming up manliness, even in the corners. of this establishment, everything is gonna be just fine. I'm really scared, man! You got a name? Phil? <laughs> Come on, Phil, stay with me. I've only got one shot at this. Gotta have the right tools for the job. Bingo. Now I want you to do me a favor, Phil. What? Say cheese. Ah, the beginning. A little yellow friend awakes from his slumber and prepares for the biggest day of his life. Yet despite his dreams, he is not honored with the manager position of the new Krusty Krab 2. So he sulks off to drown his depression in ice cream at the local Goofy Goobels. Across the street, jealous of Mr. Krab's success, the diabolical plankton hatches Plan Z. He steals King Neptune's crown and frames Mr. Krabs for selling it to the far-off and dangerous land of Shell City. Let us now join our heroes in the midst of their self-pity. Hey, hey buddy, come on, wake up. Huh? Where am I? It's eight in the morning, closed. Go collect your friend and get out of here. Hey buddy, come on up here and join the party. SpongeBob!
If you bring me more Goofy Goober tokens, I can grant you the cartwheel move. Oh boy, I love whatever that move is. You will. Just bring me more Goofy Goober tokens. Brought me enough goofy goober tokens, you may now use the cartwheel move. Time to spin. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. You'd better get going, Patrick. There's lots to do. Oh, 
There you are, Patrick. I've been trying to find you all evening. Uh, it's 8 in the morning, SpongeBob. Oh my gosh, 8 o'clock. I am late for work. Mr. Krabs is gonna kill me. Oh, Mr. Krabs. Back at the Krusty Krab, King Neptune confronts Mr. Krabs about his alleged thievery. He asks if there is anyone present who may vouch for Mr. Krabs' character. And our yellow knucklehead McSpazitron shows up to accuse Mr. Krabs of being a horrible person. King Neptune zaps Mr. Krabs, causing SpongeBob to sober up quickly. He selflessly volunteers to journey to Shell City and retrieve the King's crown. Freezing Mr. Krabs' place, King Neptune grants a six-day reprieve, so SpongeBob and Patrick may attempt to retrieve the crown. King Neptune's daughter, Mindy, provides SpongeBob and Patrick with a magic mirror, through which she can communicate and assist our heroic duo. We continue as SpongeBob and Patrick arrive at the paddy wagon. SpongeBob, Patrick, it's time to start your journey. Drive the paddy wagon through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. This 
road will take you through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. Don't let the paddy wagon take too much damage, or you'll have to start again. Our journey begins. Epic, heroic, daring, valiant, courageous! SpongeBob, you're driving a sandwich. Not just a sandwich, a Krabby Patty! With cheese! of town and now you can go on to the next part of your journey. Here's your reward. Come back again if you want another driving challenge. <laughs> of Bikini Bottom behind us, SpongeBob and Patrick begin their long journey towards Shell City. However, with SpongeBob gone, all is not well. Plankton is now selling the Krabby Patty at the Chum Bucket, and with every purchase, customers are getting a mind-controlling bucket helmet. Squidward has discovered Plankton's plan to create an army of bucket heads. Will Squidward save the day? No. On the outskirts of town, SpongeBob and Patrick meet some of the charming locals who tell them they will not last long outside the city. But our friends do not listen. They should have listened. Our heroes are now stranded in a vast desert with only their feet for transportation. Plankton is 
is using those radio towers to broadcast his evil messages across the sea. SpongeBob, you have to find a way to shut those towers down. SpongeBob, if you want to reach those towers, you'll need to learn the Bash move. Bash? How can I learn that? I can teach you, but you'll need more Goofy Goober tokens first. If that's what it takes to stop Plankton's evil scheme, then I'll do it! Goober tokens to get the bash. <laughs> Strange. It's too quiet. Like just before the great chum famine of 58. Oh, you think you're clever, do ya? One hapless soul at a time.
It's like walking on ice cream. SpongeBob and Patrick step into the port ahead.
One more Krabby Patty with extra manliness, please. Oh boy, another Krabby Patty. knows what this screen does. Please tell me. That's my favorite line ever. You have enough Goofy Goober tokens. Now I can teach you the bash move. Now I am the master. Wow! Thanks, Mindy! Those radio towers are broadcasting Plankton's hypnotizing messages. If we don't do something soon, every creature in the sea will be under Plankton's control. You have to go into the desert and shut them down. Isn't this the really dangerous desert that no one has ever returned from? Uh, no. I think that's the desert next to this one. Oh, well in that case I'll have those towers shut down in a jiffy.
vacuuming up manliness, even in the corners.
I found one last spot with those ugly plankton propaganda towers. Use whatever you can find to knock them down. The last of plankton's propaganda towers are here on the edge of the desert. Oh! Breathtakingly evil! These tracks form part of a slide through this area. I need you two to race down them and knock those towers over. Sounds kinda hard. Don't worry guys. Stay on the track, jump over obstacles, and hit any plankton signs you see along the way. Good luck! Looks like fireworks! Go get some!
I knew you guys could do it. Here's your reward. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> Our heroes, having foiled Plankton's evil plans, continue across the desert. But Plankton remains one stubby step ahead of them. He sends someone to make sure that they will fail. He is a vicious, ruthless killer named Dennis. Fortunately, SpongeBob and Patrick have discovered the paddy wagon in a parking lot. But the key is missing. So the only thing to do is to go into the rough, tough bar and look for it. Good luck, my friends. You're going to need it. You have to get the key to the paddy wagon back. I'm sorry, Patrick. You don't have enough Goofy Goober tokens for me to give you the smash. You'll need the smash to get the key to the paddy wagon back and defeat all the thugs. You need more Goofy Goober tokens. But Mindy! I picked a flower for you. Oh, I think I lost it. Sorry, Patrick.